Kings on Prince Miller Entertainment TV. Today is the 15th of November uh, 2022. Remember guys to like, share, comment and follow. And so guys, here's the latest update. Uh, Mary Mbaiwa, uh, the former wife of Vice President Konstantino Achwenga, said she is in great pain and her health was deteriorating. Mbaiwa 40 told the Sunday Times in an exclusive interview that she is painless and there's no home and people must not be surprised if she committed suicide she said i'm not well at all i feel that if i had gone out of the country to seek better treatment i would be better but the court refused to give me my passport as part of uh, bail conditions i stay at my parents home because i have nothing i don't have a house and even a car so i'm under my parents care I have a well-equipped clinic which I had built for, uh, for my personal funds in Dombosha outside Harare, but I was blocked from accessing it. She suffers from lymphedema, a disease that causes the limbs to swell. But I was said her arm amputated after a court forbade her from traveling to South Africa for medical treatment. She said she has not been well, uh, allowed to see or speak to her children aged between 8 and 11 for three years. Baiwa said, actually, not seeing my children is very painful for me. Sometimes I start having thoughts of committing suicide and don't be surprised if I do. I have not spoken to my kids and I have not seen them since 2019. In a couple of days, it will be my daughter's and my son's birthdays. I have not spoken to them even over the phone. My lawyers have written to Chuenga's lawyers many times for me to get access to my children, but that is not helped. Our children have nothing to do with what is happening between us. These are young children. I always ask myself what he says to them about me. These are kids who need their mother. I spend nights and days crying, asking God, why did you let this happen to me? Everything I'm accused of, I didn't do it. Right now, I'm so sick. I'm having challenges with my legs that are swollen and so painful. And the doctors told me after the amputation of my right arm that my body is too much fluid. Last week, Mbaiwa was acquitted on charges of assaulting a children's nanny, Delight Munoro, by a Harare magistrate. However, she will appear in court at the end of the month on a charge of attempted murder. In April, she was found guilty of marriage fraud and sentenced by the Harare magistrate court to a year in jail, reduced because of ill health to a fine of 60,000 Zimbabwe dollars. Baiwa was found to have forged Chuenga's signature on documents that upgraded their marriage from a customary one to a civil union. She also faces charges of money laundering and violating exchange control laws for which she is still standing trial. And so guys, that's the latest here. And yes, so she hasn't seen her children uh, since 2019 up to now. Uh, she not so do two to like fix a more moon and they go so in a ever very in a very but i feel like uh, even if the uh, the head problems and uh, yeah this was supposed to affect the children in any way uh because you know vana about your language is your and so uh i just hope and pray that uh she gets better and uh, things will turn around for you in the modern and the woman is modern and it is and so i will just send prayers to you mother running one in angwa uh, and open wako. And, uh, so we hope that everything will work well at the end for you this is uh daily news breaking news everyday news remember to like share comment and follow bless up